Alright guys, I just got back from a horrible, worst ever low point of my summer first day of school and oh my god, I really question why. But you know, it's okay because I got a pre-calc teacher from Africa who has the thickest accent, so I don't know what he's saying. Not to be racist, I just actually don't understand what he's saying. Uh, okay. But anyway, I got a fan right here. And a bucket. Now I'll show you what I'm making. But you can probably guess because I probably put it in either the title or the description of the video. So I guess there's really no secret. And I don't know why I'm telling you it all secretive like you have to guess or something. But, I got a fan, and this fan happens to fit in the bucket. Sadly, I'm holding you, so I can't use both hands to put the fan in the bucket. But anyway, yeah, whatever, I'll put the fan. So the fan fits in this bucket. Oh my god, the fan fits in this bucket. Like that. And I shouldn't have taken it apart yet, but I didn't. So anyway... The fan is held together by one screw. Just this one little base screw. It goes in the back right there. And it did have this base on it. And I'm sure you've seen these fans at like truck stops. Uh, and you buy them and you're all disappointed. Because they need AC power. So that sucks. Because, you know, direct current is just better than AC. In the same way, computers are better than Xboxes and Playstations. So, uh, I'm just going to take this, and you can see I take off this one screw. And I'm going to disconnect the wire here, and here. And I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. Okay, I got the thingy unscrewed. Uh, this, alright, so, I got the back completely off, and... I'm going to need this switch. i got to drill a hole for the switch to come through the bucket. And i got to drill a big hole just to feed the wire through the bucket. So, I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. Okay, so I drilled the hole. And I'm getting pretty hot doing this, but it's okay because we're making an AC. So... I drilled a hole and I kind of carved it out with this knife so that I could pull the cord through. And not only did I pull the cord through, I also got the switch through. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, all at the same hole. <laughs> and I'm just going, uh, I just got to take off this plasticky stuff. The bucket, got to pull off the pieces of the bucket. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that there, so I don't really want to try screwing it in because then screws will come out this side through those two little screw holes on that side. And then the balls will go like this. Like that. And I'm gonna put the back on uh this is really hard to hold okay and then i'm gonna put the back on and put the one little screw through connecting the fan to the back which will hold it in place on the bucket that makes sense yeah i think it's pretty straightforward all right i'll show you what that looks like okay i just wanted to show you what i ended up doing here was drilling a hole big enough for this thing to go through because it does stick out a considerable amount. All right. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I think that part turned out pretty well. So we've got the switch right there um, with the power cord going out. Um, the back of the fan, and I will tell you that the most frustrating part is lining up the little hole in there with the whole little hole right here uh... that'll work up a sweat so you'll be needing this air conditioner 
And uh, there's definitely some variations on um, design here. I'm just trying to give you an idea. So, now all that's left is, of course, we got to put some ice in here. On, like, frozen water bottles. And I've got to drill some holes right here for that cool air to come out. Like a hole here, and a hole here, and a hole here. And if you want to, you can put some pipe in it. Um, that'll really help the airflow. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so through trial and error, I've found that um, if you drill a lot of holes at the back, um, I'll, a lot more you'll get a lot more air coming out of here, out of your these holes. Um, and you know that makes that makes a lot of sense because if you <laughs> have a bucket and you only have one hole all the air is going to go out of that hole and come into that hole so if you have these holes towards the back of the fan you can suck in a lot more air so it's blowing a lot more air past the ice and if you stick your hand inside here it's definitely cool enough to be like a refrigerator so you know you can throw your sandwich and your eggs in there too and while you're using the exhaust as your AC. So, maybe what you could do that would be the best is if you could pinch the, um, the bucket between the two safety rails with all this being, with all of this backside here being taken in the air. Because the more air you take in, oops, sorry. Obviously, the more air that's going to come out. And this ice will last a good couple hours. Alright. 